welcome back to this session of AutoCAD. In this section, you are going to learn how to draw or how to create the RCC column, the drawing of an RCC column. What you are seeing on the screen here is a typical section of an RCC column. You know, as engineers, columns or any concrete uh, uh, element of a building is designed according to the requirements of the building and the soil conditions. So this is a typical design. The design may change from building to building. What we are learning here is how to the basic components that go into a column and how to go about a drawing. This session is very important for all those students who are taking up uh, various examinations at polytechnic and uh, engineering levels. So follow the instructions carefully and uh, try to recreate it by yourself. Okay, you can see that you have the foundation at the bottom. I have given the dimensions, foundation 0.3, everything is, the unit is in meters, foundation 0.3, this concrete bed is of uh, 1 is to 4 is to 8 proportion, 40 mm downsize and you have this uh, upper portion above the concrete bed, uh, the height is 0.35 and then it slopes to a height of uh, 0.4. Uh, you have this uh, RCC, uh, sorry, the reinforcements or the bars, steel bars or the steel bars at uh, are spaced at a distance of, uh, they are 12 mm bars spaced at 15 centimeter center to center. Then uh, ground level is at uh, 1.5 meter. Okay, that means you have to dig a depth of 1.5 meters to put this column in. And from there, you, you have a plinth height of 0.45, the standard plinth height. The ground level is shown neatly. All these uh, horizontal lines, what you see here, are uh, like uh, they are called as stirrups, which keep the horizontal members, vertical members, uh, in position. Uh, they do not allow the uh, vertical members to sway away. From the center. Uh, so these are all the vertical bars. Okay, the horizontal lines are uh, stirrups. You can see here the stirrups are 8 mm bars, 20 mm cent centimeter center to center. So they are all spaced at 20 centimeter center to center. We learn how to draw all these things, and uh, this is the roof height 3 meters. The roof slab 0 0.5, 0 0.15, sorry, and this is the column which goes further up to the upper floors. Okay, then without wasting time, let's start creating the sectional elevation of the RCC. Okay, let's start with the drawing. So we have a new draw, new file open here. So press F7 to send switch off the grid so it's finished now fix the units U N I T S units uh, decimal is okay a precision two decimal points and uh, this will be the insertion skill let us make it meters okay now limits L I M I T S limits uh, 0 comma 0 is okay lower left corner upper left corner will make it like something uh, uh, 20 comma 20 z enter a enter that is zoom enter a enter now we are ready to start the drawing let us start with the sectional elevation so the total width is um, 3.5 keep f8 on that is ortho on 3.5 Okay, zoom according to your requirements, go up 0.3, again uh, 3.5, close. Now the top width is uh, 
Okay, line, draw a line from the mid portion, just draw it and leave it. Okay, then offset uh, 3.2, we need the actual column width will be 3.2. So 3.2 divided by 2 is how much? Go for calculator. Okay, 3.2 divided by 2 is uh, 1.6. So offset uh, 1.6. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we don't require so much. Uh, we'll cut it off uh, 0.35. Offset uh, 0.35. Okay. Trim. Similarly, remove this also. Yeah, this line offset uh, say point uh, four. Yeah, and here also offset the column width is point six, so point three on either side. Point three. Okay, now you can join this line here from here to here, from here to here. Now you can delete all these lines. Okay, now you can see trim, cross. Okay, you got a shape now. Okay, if you need to fix the down level, offset 1.5 from where from here so this is the ground level okay trim cross okay this is the ground level you can show the ground level neatly uh, later on before that uh, we need to fix the plinth height offset 0.45 so 0.45 then the roof height offset 3.15 or 3.3 whatever you want I will take a 3.15 ok so this will go like this up this will also go like this you can instead of that you can do what you can do is um, you can use stretch command S T R E T C H stretch cross you can select all this press center and you can pull it on so there are various methods of doing the same thing okay uh, this is um, what roof now offset 0.15 okay this is the roof we will see later on what to do now till now everything is fine Three. Now let us introduce the steel bars inside. Okay, I'll give a covering of uh, five centimeter. So that means take the offset, offset 0 0.05. Okay, so here too. Now, just uh, trim this, trim this portion which is going outside, just trim, yeah, make the drawing ready for the bars, extend uh, Okay, offset now point uh, zero six. Okay, offset. Okay, now just trim. Select all this. Enter. Let's 
just delete this portion here. Yeah. Now you fill it. You can remove this. Okay. Now circle. What I'm doing is the creating the mat which goes at the bottom of the column and above the concrete bed. You can bring the cursor to the edge of this uh, semicircle here. You get the center. So diameter 0.06. Okay, now it's okay. So fill this BH or you get this uh, hatch dialog box here. Click on this small button here. Go to other predefined. Select solid. Uh, add big points. Okay. So like this, press enter, enter once again. Okay. Now copy, copy from the center and uh, place it. Ortho should be on for this. So point one five. Point three. Point. 45 0.6 0 0.75 okay you can copy the whole stuff here like this these are all symbolic representation of the mat at the bottom the mat which is uh, coming just above the concrete bed you can just delete this and leave it as it is nothing to worry Okay, now just draw a line from here to here, again from here to here. You can continue till here, trim, just delete this, all this stuff. Okay, you can draw, you can uh, show some bend here, say point. Okay, now let us put the stirrups. Stirrups, you know, I shown you in the drawing there. Uh, it's like uh, 8 mm bars, 20 cm center to center. These are the stirrups. Okay, you can see 8 mm bars at 20 cm center to center. So we are going to put the same. So, how we are going to do? Put the line here, take offset 0.2. You can just copy it instead of uh, offsetting it. Copy, copy on the three. Okay, again copy. Uh, you should learn how to do the drawing fast. We should avoid repetitive things. Okay, just uh, delete this. You can now still upset them. Uh, this will go till the roof. Okay. Uh, this stirrups, stirrup will not be there. Okay, you need to bend this rod here inside. One will go this side. These are all symbolic representations. How much it should go inside? That has to be decided by the designer, the structural designer. Right now, we need not worry about that. So, just break this. This is the roof thickness. We need to break this. Press F8. So this indicates the brake line. In AutoCAD you have a command called brake line. You can always uh, use that, but you should know exactly how to use that. Uh, in my previous videos I have shown you how to do that. You can just follow that video. Okay, so now brake. 
remove all the unwanted lines here. Use the break command. See, break command will do all this job easily for you. Click once inside and outside. Just press enter. Okay, so break. So you can reduce this. Okay, mm. okay. now this is done. Okay, uh, even at the top you need to put the break line. Okay, reflect. Okay, break again. Enter. Press enter. Okay, now let us uh, go for the dimensioning. So, dimensioning we need to go for DDIM first. Then uh, fix the dimension styles. Okay, I'll go for new. Always remember dimension styles have to be fixed before going for dimensioning. So I'll give some name D1. Continue. Okay, mm, go for uh, this button, small button here. New. Okay, D1. Okay, select some text height. I'll give some point uh, one five. Uh, 0.15 is okay, I think. Mm, yeah. 0.1 is okay. Okay. Set current aerial font. Yes. Close. Okay. Standard here. Yeah. You have D1 here. Uh, primary units, decimal value, make it. Uh, Two zeros, text and arrows, arrow size is 0.18. Mm, I think it's okay. Um, if it's not okay, we'll change it. It's not an issue. Okay. So let this set current. Close. Now let us start dimensioning. First, let's check out whether the, the settings what we have made is okay or not. So go for dim. Vertical. Okay, uh, that arrow size seems to be a little big, and text size also seems to be a little big. We'll make it small. Okay, what to do now? DDIM. Uh, go to modify. Uh, first, uh, reduce the text size a little bit. 0.15 will make it uh, point, uh, zero. 8 is ok, then uh, apply, uh, close, go for uh, symbols and arrows, this is 0.18, uh, we will make it 0 0.08, uh, ok, you can choose any of the arrows here, this one, whatever you want, but right now I will go with this, ok, select this, set current, Let's see, it's changed. Okay. So, I'll start uh, from the beginning. You can just I need to dim. I wanted to demonstrate how continuous dimensioning works. You can dim vertical. Okay. Continuous CONT. Press enter. CONT again. Enter and uh, C one T. Okay, so this is actually the ground level. We'll proceed extend it further. Uh, okay, I'll draw more line from here. I need to show the ground level. Okay. So this is very important ground level. Okay, dim vertical. Okay, see how it works. Okay, now the plinth. I I forgot to 
show the plane here height okay dim vertical start from here okay perpendicular yeah something is going out nothing to worry just hover over the text here move the text only you can bring the text uh, make sure if it is off that's it okay now horizontal now dim horizontal okay now dim horizontal three point five okay now this thing this should be three point two yeah three point two okay right now go for uh, hatching b hatch the concrete bed has to be shown b hatch uh, let me predefined go for concrete okay pick points let us see what happens here okay go for preview uh, it seems to be okay uh, make it point uh, six okay preview and press enter and that's it okay no need to fill inside all these things you, should, you need to show the ground level okay ground level line if it off just offset 0 0.02 yeah city you can just copy this there are various ways of uh, doing this showing this ground line okay. extend ex okay okay no trim Okay, line if I don't trim remove the lower portion. Okay, delete this. Then trim the upper portion. the ground line okay let us put the text now indicating the ground level so for that uh, go for uh, style style okay already some style is there you create one more style in s2 s2 okay fix some height here point uh, zero eight okay now just remove this we don't want annotate annotating okay rest is okay yes fix at uh, current close okay dt now style is uh, s2 enter click somewhere here so ground ground level okay just copy this uh, somewhere here okay so that's it uh, let's move a little bit down uh, keep it perfectly okay so ground level similarly you have plinth level so copy this thing keep it here I press F8 so that it is looking neat. Right click, uh, print level. Okay. 
So all this is done. Uh, now let us uh, proceed further. Okay. Yeah, everything is done. Let us check the roof height. So go for dim, dim vertical. Okay, what is the vertical height? It should be three point one five. Okay, yeah, three point one five is okay. So let us not bother bother about the other things. Now let us create the section, cross section. So we'll put a cross sectional line here. Uh, okay, line L. Okay, polygon P O L Y G O N polygon three sides H E enter. So you have a polygon triangle here neat triangle just keep it here okay fill it inside with some solid hatch <coughs> okay keep it properly you can put the text here dt okay dt style S2 is okay. Enter the text here. So make sure that the rotation angle is zero here. I have seen many of them struggle with this text just because they don't observe this thing here. It's 90 degrees here. I'll make it zero. Press enter. Okay. So yeah. That's it. Click outside. Press enter. So place it properly here. Press F8. So it will move. Smoothly. Okay, so you have a section. You can of course change the section line. It should be dotted line. If you already have it in the properties, you just select it and go for the type line. You don't have there. Go for DDL type. This I have shown in my earlier videos. Still, I'm going to show you once again. Uh, go for uh, something like center okay okay then just select this go to the line type uh, center okay if it's not visible just select again go for the scale here so 0 0.05 okay now you can see section here okay now let us show the cross-sectional view of this RCC column cut at this point that is section AA. Okay, the length and the width of the column is 0 0.6 by 0 0.6. So that is the size of the column. Let us see how to draw the cross sectional view. Rectangle, so the command is rectangle now. So draw a rectangle at 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Okay, let us zoom this and work on this. Offset 0 0.05, that is the cover. Remember, cover protects the steel bars from getting exposed to the atmosphere and making the structure weak. Okay. Now, offset, uh, we need to show the steel bars here. Circle, circle, TTR, I am using TTR command here. Okay, so radius is asking 0 0.03 radius. So, all these are all symbolic representation of the bars. Okay, so BH solid. Okay, already solid is there. You can select the solid here. Okay, click point, click inside, press enter. Okay, now copy this, hold it by the quadrant here you can see the quadrant and mid here mid if you can't uh, get mid type you have to type mid copy copy bring it very near to this thing here you have to do this carefully okay uh, move 
hold it by the quadrant. Yeah, again hold it by the quadrant. Because you have to move two times, you have to do it this way. Okay, so mirror. Watch this video slowly at your own pace because it sometimes it may be confusing but this is how it has to be do, done again copy hold it by the quadrant if you don't get quadrant type quadrant that's all quadrant bring it to the mid mid yeah. okay this thing you don't require I think yeah this thing you don't require okay you have to show these lines here indicating that it's been tied properly there all these are all represent symbolic representations of what actually has to be done on the field okay again line see line this is a stirrup use tangent don't line uh, hold it by the quadrant there tangent again line qua tangent sorry tangent tangent to tangent if you don't see you may ask me why i should use tangent why can't you use quadrant you just try out and uh, reply me in the comment section as to what happens when you use quadrant in such a situation okay tangent again tangent tangent again tangent Okay, see, it looks neat now. Uh, what you can do now is make it make it a little bit thicker. What you can do now is uh, you can make this look prominent by just selecting this. Uh, go to properties and increase the line weight. Uh, point. Uh, 3 or 3 5 is ok so it won't be visible actually just go down and click this uh, line weight button you can see that it's visible there ok now just go for match properties MA uh, just select this so now it looks prominent ok press enter now actually these tirups are nothing but what you are seeing it here so you need to create a connection so what I will do is a uh, leader okay yeah now explode press enter copy Copy. Explode is a very good way of uh, separating the members of the dimension. You can uh, use uh, edit it by exploding it, exploding the dimensions. Okay. So now again, this thing is here. Just copy this here. I press F8, just place it here, section, right click, edit, section, A, A, okay, that makes it meaningful, okay, again dimension, DIM, DIM, horizontal, vertical, keep it elementary, See all these extended dim lines are because of the settings there. So go for dim and uh, go for modify. Uh, I can see here something like lines. Uh, I can uh, reduce the lines, say point uh, zero eight. Okay, uh, set current. Okay, this is the uh
dt okay enter uh, you have to put some text here this is 8 mm stirrups at 20 at 20 centimeter center to center so you need to reduce the size okay uh, select this both right click properties uh, okay what is the height now 0 0.08 okay point, make it 0 0.4 okay yeah okay you can use m text also but uh, i don't recommend that you can always go for this d text here that's quite good enough you press f3 if this o snap is disturbing you okay now these bars here vertical bars here again uh, leader press f3 for o snap you press f8 for auto okay so enter 8 number 16 mm dia bars okay yeah okay next properties i make it small look small okay now what to do this uh arrows here just go and explore copy okay okay, okay. Uh, now let us uh, this uh, sectional elevation is uh, okay uh, I'll just put the heading for this title for this just bring it here press it it so edit RCC column sectional elevation of RCC column. Okay, fine. Now let us focus on the plan. Now, plan is quite easy. Just drop lines, press F8. Okay, draw one more horizontal line here. Okay, offset um, 3.5 and 3.2, 3.25 .2, first, offset 3.5, okay, here you have extent, you know what extent command does, see what it does, it extend this line, okay, again offset, so what is the offset here, you know, 3.5 minus 3.2 is how much you can find out here by using that di command distance command so it is 0 0.15 okay offset 0.15 just trim it that's all trim cross This is the mat which is lying above the concrete bed. You should know that this is the basic of uh, RCC drawing. You should know all the technical details of column or whatever it is before going for the drawing. So now this is the mat. This is the concrete which you see outside. What is the dimension of that? Dim horizontal if you say. Okay, so this is uh, 3.5 inner, it is 3.2. Same thing vertical also. Dimension need to be done perfectly. There should 
be no room for confusion. Okay. Now we need to show the bars in set. So what is the command offset? Very easy. So it is a 15 centimeter center to center. They are all 12 mm dia bars which are laid horizontally and vertically 15 centimeter center to center. So obviously 15 centimeter just go on clicking. We can change the, we can uh, select the thickness like uh, going to properties, uh, point, uh, where is the line weight? So point uh, 3 or point 3, fine, whatever it is. Okay, fine. So offset again. So instead of doing all this, go for copy, cross. So cross, select this. This is the best way of finishing of the job. Yeah, whatever extra you get, just delete this. Finish. Okay, similarly, you have offset uh, 0.15. Yeah, match properties, match with the vertical lines. Okay, offset. Okay, copy. Now don't go for cross copying, just select the objects, outer to outer. What do you get extra? Just delete it. So now you have this. You have match properties. Okay. Now it's done, but not before labeling it LEADER leader. Press enter. 12 mm dia, dia bars at 15 centimeter center to center both ways both with that means both the way it is the same okay so it's done so you know what to do here explore just select this copy of course if you have time if you have the patience you can create number of uh, you can create a triangle and keep it ready and place it wherever you want copy but this is the way I do and you can do it that way okay finally you have the text we put at the bottom that is that is the title of the drawing uh, of that particular drawing there select right click edit sectional plan at base click outside press center ok now move it appropriately that's it so that completes the sectional plan at base so if you look at the drawing above that is the sectional elevation of the RCC column uh, this indicates the cover. So we need to show that what is the cover. So use leader, enter, so 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter clear cover. You know what is the cover? Cover is the concrete. Uh, the difference between the RCC bar, sorry, reinforcement and the finished surface. So you need to have some coverage to protect the reinforcements. Okay, now everything is done, clear to be printed. But how it has to be printed, today I am going to 
give an idea of what is happening, what has to be done to send it to printing. Go to the layout. So layout you see this here. The first thing what you should do is delete this. So don't worry, nothing has happened to your original drawing here. Everything is safe. So you're perfect. Your job is safe. Go to layout here. Now go for V ports. V ports single or vertical or two vertical or two horizontal. Whatever you want, you just take it and go ahead. I'll take two verticals. Okay. Just draw here. You have two verticals. So you have two drawings. So obviously, we don't want uh, something like this to be printed. There is a purpose behind this. Okay. So this is okay. I'll keep it as it is. But here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll click outside, select this. See, when you click inside, it is active. That means you can uh, zoom in, zoom out, do all kinds of editing. So that is in model space, what we call it as a model space. You can see bottom here, you have model. Once you click on it, it acts as a toggle button, it becomes paper. So when it is in the paper mode, it's going for the print. That means whatever it's there in the paper mode, that's going to come out in the from the printer. But if you want to edit it, do something with the drawing, the way it appears in the print out, click here on the paper, it, you get a dark border. When you get a dark border, that means now it is ready to be edited and you have to be careful. Okay, so what I will do is, uh, I will go for paper mode. You can do that by clicking inside double time or clicking outside to get out. So, I will click here and I will I want to show some details. I want to show this sectional details. So, double click, see you. Double click outside. Make it a little bit bigger. My intention is to, I want to show this section so that the bar bender or whoever is reading the drawing comes to know actually what is the, what are the details. So, you may not be able to see all the details in the drawing here. Right now I am not discussing about scales and all, maybe sometime later I will prepare a full fledged video on all these layouts and how to set the scales and all. Right now just focus on this, uh, getting the printout of all the stuff what you have done, painfully done. Okay. okay, now there is some more it, I don't want this space here in between, so what I'll do is just okay, it's perfect. Okay, double click, just zoom. You can use all the zoom commands. It should look perfect. Okay, yeah. Click outside, gone. Okay. Now you have some more space here, and I'm going to use this space for uh, something else. I will show the details of the concrete bed here. So V ports again, V ports, go for single, don't go for two this time, go for single, F3 should be on, okay, yeah, now double click inside, zoom this portion here, you see, Z enter enter, okay, now lot of things are visible and they are shown exclusively the column footing is show being shown exclusively okay done this space has been reserved for the title bar so whatever title you want to put you can go ahead and put them so what i'll do is i'll uh, type only in the layout i'll type in a way that that text is visible or visible only in the layout it's not visible in the model so you have to create the text right over the layout. How to do that? I will fix a box now. All my text will come only here. 
All this requires a bit of practice, a bit of patience, some artistic uh, creative ideas from you will generate very good layouts. There are ready-made layouts available in CAD, you can use that. Uh, but if you want to create your own layouts, then uh, you have to learn this. And it's very good actually. Okay, now I'll go for empty. Empty is nothing but multiple text, you know that. So, just use this space to type whatever you want. Whatever you want means you can type the name of the company or the name of the, if you are doing a college project, college drawing, you can put your name there. Name of the company or uh, institution. I am just demonstrating how to go about it. You can just uh, press Ctrl E. Uh, go for uh, point one, uh, point uh, two, uh, point two is quite big. Point uh, one, two is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Name of the uh, drawing. Date of date of drawing. So something, whatever you want to put, I can put okay. That's it. Now later on you can move this. Yeah. You can move wherever you want. Okay, F3, F3 and F3. As far as the layout information is concerned, this is a limited information what I am giving. Uh, but uh, the main focus in this video is the RCC column. So more information about the layout will follow in the coming videos. Now I hope you understood uh, how to create this job here. Just uh, go ahead and practice, any doubt you have, any comments you have, just put me across so that I'll be able to solve those uh, issues there. You can follow all my videos, the links for which I have provided it in the description box. You can go through all the videos, I'm sure it's going to be very useful to you. I have kept it very simple explained it in plain English language and made it, try to make it different from all the other videos available online. Particularly for the student community, it's going to be very useful. And also for engineers and uh, even laymen can uh, lay their hands upon AutoCAD after seeing these videos. And with this, uh, I'm going to wind up uh, this session. Let's meet in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye bye. And just don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Share it among your friends so that it reaches a wide audience. Thank you. Bye bye.